Hello guys, Simon here from the Midronome. Today we are going to look at the CV output of the device. So I've got a device and I have my MPC is always set with the same sequence that you've heard before. And um, if I click the click and I press play, then you can hear the MPC on time with the click. So far nothing new. That's all good. And um, what's, what we're going to do today, so we're going to look at the CV. So if I go in Setup and I scroll to this thing called CV.T, that stands for CV Type, uh, which by default is off. Um, and when you switch it to on, the CV signal is going to be sent. It's the 5 volt pulse, basically, that you can send to your modulars or anything that needs a pulse. And uh, right now they're sent on the side here, but in the final device, it's going to be a uh, plug that's going to be here uh, because this is a prototype. Um, and once it's on, we can change the uh, pulse per quarter knot of the uh, CV1, which is the left channel, and CV2, which is the right channel. So if I unmute the click, now you're going to hear the click at the same time. So right now it's a 1 PPQN, which means uh, 1 pulse per quarter note. We're going to change this one to two, for example, and then we can hear there's one of them that's twice as fast, and then one of them that's three, right? Right? And then if I change the other one to two or three, right? Then you have like three over four. Sounds a bit messy. That's three over two that everybody knows. You get the idea, right? And uh, on CV type, what we can have is, uh, so we have off by default, we can have it on, or we can switch it to play, and then the signal is only gonna be sent when you press play. Uh, so for example, now, if I press play, it's gonna send the CV, and it's gonna start the MPC at the same time. Right, all that in time with the click, obviously. And if I change the tempo, while well, everything stays in time, at this point, you know, you get the idea of the device. Um, and the last thing that we can send is uh, in CVT, we have this mode called DIN and uh, that's for the vintage machines, uh, which means it's going to send 24 PPQN on one side and then it's going to send a start-stop signal on the right channel, uh, which you can send to your old Roland TR303, for example. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's uh, simple and uh, it does the job, 5 volt pulse. And then uh, you can uh, stay in uh, time with everything else. That will be it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.